Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay at home mom of four. I also run the budget shop Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy or also on my website, purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I had a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash stuffing method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you like to follow along with, just keep watching. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing my $2 Tuesday binder. Before I get into the video, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm on a quest to reach a thousand subscribers, so each one of you can definitely help me achieve that goal. Also, if you have a moment to interact with my content, it can be something simple like a thumbs up or leaving me a comment. I always enjoy chatting with you guys there. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I believe I have my normal $60 in cash here, so let's go ahead and get it counted. I'm going to use some of my fingertip moistener because... I'm finding that it definitely does make a little bit of a difference. So when I get everything good to go, so we put that back on. Okay, so I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Perfect. So we have all 60 here so let me move this out of the way and move this in here so I'm gonna get my challenges out let's let's just get all of it out so this is my navy Alana binder absolutely love it so I've started it for some of my a6 challenges so let's move it out of the way for now so I have my ding 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 envelope let me grab my bell just in case we get to ring it today There's the bell, and then I'm just going to be random on how I place these, so that way they're all just random. So, okay, so here are all the challenges that I have today. I'm going to be doing this one. This one's from Gold Country Gifts. This is my challenge. This is from Sweet and Sassy Budgets. This is from The Budget Evolution, Budget with Carly, and Budget with Mrs. P. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And based upon what the dice comes up, that's going to be the envelope I'm going to be saving $2 in, hence $2 Tuesdays. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Six. One. I've tried talking through this, but then I realized that I sometimes don't pay attention to the dice and then I get off track. So I'm just going to keep chit chat to a minimum and see. So I want to say I just finished my month or head binder and I did the rolling of the dice and I got like every number except for five. So we'll see if we cover all the numbers through here. I think I end up rolling quite a few more times than on that one, but we shall see. So it looks like all of them have money in there. One, and then two more rolls, it looks like. Three, and then two. So let's see what we can swap out. So one, two, three, four, five. Take a five. That's four. One, two, three, four, five. And a five. And let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and then a five. And then I'm just gonna have to move a single over here so that way I still have an even amount. And then we will work with this. Six, five, one, six, Five, two, and then six. So let's see what we can swap out here. One, two, three, four, five. There. So 
So I have two more fives I can switch. One, two, three, four, five. And then that's still four. That was already swapped. Four, three. Okay, so it looks like I only have this. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll keep this off to the side and do another round. Last time I got through three rounds, it looks like this is going to be more than that. So, six, four, wrong place. Six, and five. Okay, so let's see here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then put this here and then one last round one six and then one okay so let's go ahead and gather these up so this is challenge number one challenge number two challenge number three challenge four five and then six. So I found my pink. If you've watched my challenges where I'm like, I don't know where my original pink is. Well, I found it. It was my Canada's backpack. It's her favorite color. She, she stole it. We go to um, open house, which is where you take all their supplies and then you like, on the younger grades, you like kind of put them wherever the teacher wants them. So I show up and I'm like, okay, why do you have a Sharpie? Where is this for? What am I supposed to put this? She's like, oh no, I stole that from you. I'm like, so that's where my pink Sharpie went. So that was kind of funny. That just reminded me of that. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. So that'll be five. So let's go ahead and get those colored in. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the color that I originally started with. Then I went to my super light one that you can barely tell, and then my dark one. So I guess we'll just do a variation of pinks on this one. Honestly, when I went to go print this one out, I didn't even intend to make it in the pink. I just so I have like a file that has like um, my page set up for my cutting machine for all of like my vertical challenges. So this, the challenge itself is one image and then this background color is its own image and they're just layered on top of each other. So I dropped in the $2 file there and then like, oh, remember, switch out the um, glitter marble background for a different color. Well, I forgot. So it just printed with whatever was on the last one. So it's fine. Pink's fine, but that was not the color I intended to do. I wanted to do something a little different because, I mean, I like pink, but it's not like my absolute favorite color. So I was like maybe going to do like purple or like a fun blue, but it works out. I just thought it was kind of funny. So, and it looks like the pink is getting all over um, the envelope, which it'll come off. I just haven't gotten around to cleaning it. So that's the kind of nice thing about my challenges is that the Sharpie will come off and then the envelopes. Let me go ahead and clean it right now. Before I forget. See, all clean. Let me make sure it's dry because I don't want it to like smear. There we go. So that is good. So this one we're going to be going out for a long time because it's got 50 different um, honeycombs or whatever you want to call that shape. So we will be working on this for quite a while. So this one is done. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Put that there. Okay. And then let's go on to this next one. I don't even know what color. So it's my light blue. I think it was this color. So let's see how much we have here. There's the five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that'll be six different spots because each one of these are going to equal two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you notice, I put dots in them just so that way when I'm coloring, I don't get carried away and end up coloring too many. I 
I think this is a sand blue, but I won't know until it dries down because these Sharpies I've found have a way of oxidizing when it's done and over with. So we'll find out next time if I chose the sand blue or if I'm doing a blue variation on this one, like the pink one. So we've done this, I'm gonna grab the red. Well, I just answered my question. That was the wrong blue. I just pulled the right blue because it was put in my pen holder this way. So I didn't see the color, but it's fine. Um, so let's see how much do we have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So three suns. And this is not red. Here's red. So three suns. So one, two, three. My kids are like going to my Sharpies, which is really scary because... Some of them color on walls. And I don't know that I will have the patience to have to try and scrub Sharpie off the wall. So they need to stay away from there. Like my son was coloring a picture yesterday and he's like, I need brown or I guess it was Saturday. He's like, I need brown, I'll have brown. I'm like, I don't know what happened to them because you guys, they like leave them uncapped and then they get thrown away because they dry out. I'm like the only brown that I know I have is my Sharpie. And I'm like, you are not touching that. So I went and got him some um, washable markers from Target while he was at um, parents night out having fun, uh, we ran to Target and I got him some sharp, or not Sharpies, washable markers. So that was good. But I'm just like, the only brown I know of is my Sharpie. And no, you're not touching that. So this one, I need my thin tipped purple. Here we go. And so each gumball were two and I'm just writing two into it. So I have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's six of these. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So we are chugging away at this and gonna get done really quickly on this one. So I just thought it was really fun. It had like a purple background, a purple gumball machine and lots of fun colors. So when I saw it, I had to have it. Wonder if we're gonna finish anything and get to ring the bell today. That'd be awesome, but we'll see. So we have one, two, three, four. So this one, I believe I'm using this one for, so we're just gonna go ahead and color in a four. There we go. So tuck the tracker back in and then we'll put this into the envelope. There we go. And then finally onto the cherries. So we say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're almost done with this one too. But sadly, we did not get to ring our bell today. So I said ten, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four five and I'll color them in nicely. So it looks like we just have three more cherries left in this challenge. So it'd be awesome if we finished next week. So next week we might have um, a good week of challenges being finished and adding to our ding, ding, ding challenge. So let me go ahead and put this in here and then I will put it in my Alana binder and I will be done. So that was a pretty quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me stuff my $2 Tuesday binder. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.